Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Karimat Orisome Barry, Princess of Okego Kingdom in Ondo State, Nigeria. The granddaughter to the princess of the seventh king of Okego Kingdom and the great granddaughter of Adele Adereni Badebo, the only child and the only daughter of the seventh king of King Gadebo in Ondo Okebo Kingdom. In my quest for Western education and greater things, I have learned mirage of Western culture, valleys and norms. The exposure that I have gotten from all of that has made me who I am today, Okebo Kingdom, my great homeland may have given up on me but my name Orisume Barry will never be buried for the prophecy upon my head upon my name must come to fulfillment whether I go to the east to the west to the north to the south and even to the end of the world my name will never be forgotten I have the pride of the black people the black strength, the name that strengthens the weak. I am Urisumi Bari Karimat, a proud Africa, the princess of the beautiful land of Okego Kingdom. I am a soldier that carries the lion's axe. The culture and tradition of our people, as black race and its heritage, will never be forgotten. I am coming home. Let's start from Ghana. I will be coming home to the motherland, the sweetest of all continents. Africa, my homeland. Africa, the motherland. Africa, the pride of the black people. Your daughter is coming home. Be sure to subscribe to follow my journey if you haven't already. I love you all. So we have an adage in Ghana that says that if you want wisdom and learn how to team work, work as a team, you go to the termite or the ant. Because this That's you right see there. here is huge. You see how they build it? The base is broader and then the top is narrow. Mm -hmm. So when it rains, the water will never fill into it. Right. It will fill oh, by that's it. Right. When the winds are blowing, it will go around it. Wow. And when the sun is shining, it will go around it. It will never reflect inside. So stay strong. Yep. If nobody touches this, it will be there for like 30, 40, 50 years. Wow. Man. I'm live in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome. Ekuaba. <laughs> Ekuaba, <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> yes. Thank you. subscribe to Boss Baby Talk. It's a real G. Subscribe to it. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Adua dance is one of the most popular dance practice in Ghana. It has subtly become the official traditional dance to welcome dignitaries and popular personality to Ghana. Adua dance is mostly performed by the Akan tribe. The dance is very famous for their leg movement and hand gesture. It can be very easy and yet complicated at the same time as every hand gesture has a meaning. Hand gesture are used to issue warning, to offend people, and also to show power and domination. But in this case, it is a welcoming celebration. I'm happy to witness this. Let's enjoy, guys.
transfer. I'm just going to show you everything. And they also have a hand dryer. So we've got the bath soap here for us to wash the hand or something. Okay, they have shower cup here. Okay, let me see what this vanity kit is for. They have the part to remove your makeups. Okay, and uh, yeah, and this is their bath. Mm -hmm. And this is all about it. And guys, you've seen my outfits. Yeah, that's my outfit. So we also got some coffee here. This is really nice. And they have skin milk. This is good, skin milk. I love it. They have LinkedIn bag in case you didn't take coffee. And uh, there's sugar here as well. And there's also sweetener. They also have um, brown sugar, white sugar, sweetener and brown sugar they also have complimentary water here for you and uh, cups for coffee this is the room it's not bad it's not that pricey so it's good it's really really good and I love the fact that it's just white you know best friend and the dupe I really love it it's, it's you know I don't like like really seeing the hotel that they have to use some color and stuff like that. I love the white one, it's really nice. And that's my suitcase. Also, let's see what we got here. Ghana once again. The view is clear, it's very good. I love it and I love the green. So serene, very nice. You're gonna love it here. Just come, come to Ghana, start coming, okay? Start coming already. And they have your computer table for you in case you, know, you need to work on your laptops and stuff like that. And they also have a um, you know, where you can just read your novel and all that. Yeah, take time out, okay, and meditate. So that's really good. And that's about it. It's all good. Eh, eh. Later, guys, I'm gonna show you the food later, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. The next morning. Hello everyone, good morning again. I have a morning tea, yes. And um, it's time to have breakfast, you guys. <laughs> As you can see, they have a lot of things. So I'm gonna be showing you guys later, actually. So let me just enjoy the moment. So guys, this is how I spend my first day in Ghana. It's your girl again, Boss Baby Talk, as you already know. If this is the first time I'm coming your way, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that bell notification for me so that you don't miss any of my upload. And for my returning subscriber, you already know I love you guys. Until I come your way again, enjoy for now. I love you guys. Five hours later. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Look at that. So I've got Kele Wele here. That's our plantain. I've got Wele. Uh, that is our cow skin. I've got uh, white meat fish here. I have meat here. White egg salad. Spaghetti is here. And uh, a bit of Gary and uh, my wache. I've also got some sauce here. This is our cheeto. I 
and um, yeah, the sauce for the rice is here as well. So Ghana, Ghana is beautiful. So guys, you need to come. You know, come to Ghana. It's really nice out here. Hey.